Hi, hello. My name is Li Jing. I was a um, professional athlete in China for a long time. Um, I come from Beijing Wushu team. Today, I would like to introduce you the three section staff. All right. As you can tell, three section staff is three part of staff. It's made from one piece of staff and it's cut into three sections and then put a you know the wire between two steps and then you know become a three section step. All right, it's harder than the one piece you know step because it's a three part. When you play with it, you know have to be careful because if you just play by yourself with no directions, you might hit yourself very bad badly. So when you hold those three section step, at the beginning I would like to you to introduce the first you know first one. First, you just I say one, two, three. You know, so you hold section one and hold the section three. Take the number two in the middle. When you play with it, you can do block, such as block up and block down. Okay. Imagine there's a weapons coming to you. You block out. There's a go to down your leg. You block out again. All right. Repeat one more time. You block up for the weapons coming. Go down. Where the weapon coming, same as up and down. You block up using both steps. This way, you don't block out. You casually just block up, get away from your head. And then same thing, go down, block down, open up. So that way, when you block, either goes to right side, either goes to left side. Depends which step on the top. If you want the staff, you know, weapons coming to you, go to right side. You might want to go right side on top of your left hand, and then black the weapons out. If you want them to go to left side, just like right side, left on the right top, and then black out. Right? Okay. So there's another way. What if people come in front of you? What are you gonna do? For the street section, you can block. You can block. You also can pass. How to pass? You step back and use your third section, protect your face first, and then just go back your waist and pass the weapons. So that way, they have to take the energy just to go because they thought they're gonna attack you. Actually, you just pass. So that way, you can control your, you know, your enemy. So let's see one more time. You up and down on left side, right side up and down, same as up. Lock up, lock down, and then pass. That's what we're gonna talk about first. All right, let's go to next step. Next step we call block and cut. All right, how are we gonna do this? Same thing, just same position, hand. You block up, use one section one block, and then you're looking forward. Let's imagine there's a weapon in coming to you. You block the weapon, look at your enemy first. See where the body is, where the head is. All right, the next one you can do is step up right into wherever you want to hit. Normally, we're gonna hit in front, you know, on the shoulder, on top of shoulder, between your neck and shoulder. That's how you're gonna, you know, do. Use this movement. You pass, you block the weapons, you cut the neck. All the way past. Okay. So now we know how to hold up and down and pass and then slap and cut. Let's move on to next movement. All right. Now we know how to hold on the side. Let's change the direction. All right. Why now we can hold the both side together and then play with one section only. So this one you can have, you know, lots of options. First, we're going to do the flower and turn your body and then block on the floor. Okay. The first one is you just put the straight sword, yeah, like three sections naturally go down and hold up. All right. Play with your right side section. Top of head. One, touch the ground. And two. And then one and two. Good. This way, actually, when weapons come out, you have a distance. You don't have to put your body very close to your enemy. You just step back. Use your step to play with it, the weapons. One, two, and three. See? One, and two. All right. 
Right arm go over your left hand. Three. And reverse. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, based on this movement, you can add body turn, step up and step back. Just, you, you know, like in case you want to go forward, you're going to back, go backward, you can use the same movement. Okay, let's watch. We're going to step back. One, two, three. One, two, lock. Okay, it's all about the flower, how to play your right section. So you want to step back, lock the weapons first, and then make a step back, and then step back again, and then block the weapons on the floor. Okay, the reason why you want to touch the ground, you cannot touch the ground, you know, through this, but it's nice to touch the ground sometimes because you can control the step better. You don't want to just swing the, you know, you don't, know, you, you don't want the step go nowhere. So better just control them. So let's do one, two, three, step back, one, one step, two step. All right, and same technique, you can go forward. So such as step, step forward. You see, that's all about your foot step. You need one, go forward, step forward. You want to go backward, step backward. But the hand technique will be the same. Okay? That's how you grab your staff, you know, in the two sides, two sections. Okay, another way you can do is one side of flower. It's also block. What you can do, you're gonna change your right side, you know, right hand position like this. Before was inside. Now you turn over. Okay. So you want to put your two sections on your left waist. Play with the right leg, right, right step. Okay, what you do, just make flower. You know, this technique, in the old time, normally you want to just lock the weapons. Da, 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 keep going forward, keep going forward. So you can, you know, such as a spear coming, you can just, you know, block the spear head, so they will go nowhere. It's always stay with you, okay? Also, they cannot come into your body. That's how you protect yourself, use a three section. So how are you going to do this movement? You have to be tight on your left waist. If you're too loose, what happens is, look, it won't be too stable. All right, you want to be very tight against your waist. Hold tight, as tight as you can. And then just use one leg and then use your wrist. Play with it. You see, they can be very fast. All right, when you finish this, okay, look, you can turn, become a cut again. See, there's the same technique, there's so many ways to, you know, to use it. Just, you know, hold like this. You finish flower, finish flower, you want finish turn. Okay, go up your head and then cut down, just like the beginning. All right, so from here, you just cut them down. All right, right around the neck position. Okay, all right, so that's how to hold on the both sides. All right, we're gonna jump to next movement. All right, the same technique, same position, your hand, and different way to, you know, to use your weapons. So we know how to do a flower against your waist, as a flower. Now you want to step forward and just sweep. How are you gonna sweep? Okay, you can sweep like this, make a circle. Or you can sweep like, like this. But normally you want to make a circle because you have a hard time to stop your step when you sweep because it's very fast. The sweep is normally when people like go down, you just sweep on in front of waist or in front of your neck or pretty much in a waist level, as even as you can, all right? Same thing here, against your waist. So that way you can keep the staff even, the levels even when they sweep. Okay, let's watch and learn. Step up. All right, left hand against your waist. Hold your step. Sweep. Finish. Okay, this sweep you can sweep continue for three or four together or two. Depends on you. So you can practice one on top of your head, finish head transition. And then two. Come up to your head, and three, come up to your head, 
and keep going and going and going. You can just, you know, routine for like five or six times and it has practice. You know, that's not very difficult. You just have to know how to hold your weapons and as long as you keep level, you'll be fine. Okay. All right, we talked a lot of, you know, technique for the grab of two section step, how to play with it. Now, we're going to talk about one section. All right, this is only number two, right? Number two step. So, this time needs some, you know, have more difficult time for you, maybe. So, I want to talk about the flowers. All right, when you do step flower, you hold in the middle of a step, right? This is in the middle, so you, you put in the middle. When you play, I'm going to do the regular speed so you can see what it looks like. Swing your step, make a straight. Right start from here. Okay, the fast you can, you know, swing, the safest you can be. You don't want to go slow, slow motion. That make you know, you're going to hit you for sure. Okay, I want to explain to you and use the one section step. So that way, when you're at home, you can, you know, have one section step play with first. So later on, you can jump to three section step. Won't be, you know, too hard for you. Okay, all right, when you grab the step, you grab in the middle right right hand and use left hand block over here on top of your right hand okay you block down the top goes under your arm all right and use this hand to pass your body to the left side look my left hand now you actually just push your staff to right left side and slowly push up Root, same thing one more time block down all right, use your finger, switch around and push down again. Go to your left side and use your finger, block up, slow motion, slowly. Right, block outside, under your arm, finish. Okay, so you have to like start from slow first. When you get familiar with your staff, and then you can change to three section staff and speed up. Okay, that way you'll be safe. All right, I want to talk about another flower's reverse. When you finish front flower, you can switch to reverse flower. All right, I'm not gonna talk about how to transition for, transfer from front flower to the you know, reverse flower. I want to talk about reverse flower first, okay? First, when you do the reverse flower, same thing when you hold it, but difference your right, left hand side. Your right hand holds your staff, left hand, on the, not on the top, on the bottom of the staff, okay? You kind of like a push backward, all right. Left hand, push backward, look at the top, close your body, reverse up, and push up, and reverse, push up, reverse and push up, reverse and push up, reverse, push up, okay. You want to keep the step as close as you can, you know, close your body. If it's too far, when it's beat up, look, you might hurt yourself one way or another. Okay, you want to keep it straight, looking forward. The best way to do is look the hands as tight as you can, keep the staff around your body. Keep your staff around your body. Keep the strap. Yes. Find your leg on the side. Find your leg on the side slowly. Reverse. Okay, now we know front slab flower and then reverse flower. We're gonna transfer from front flower and into the re reverse flower. Let's talk, up, let's see. When you finish front flower, you want to go back, turn, reverse. You pretty much actually face to the back opposite way. Okay, all right. Let's talk about three section. Use a real three section step to do this. Okay, now I'm gonna do use a three section, real three section step to do the flower and the reverse flower. I'm gonna do perform front flower, go to reverse flower again, and then back to flower again. Okay. So normally people have a hard time to stop your staff. So how are you gonna stop? When you do a flower, 
you want to slow down the top of your staff so that way you can just you know slow down if you keep swaying your staff you will never to you know never be able to finish your form okay let's talk about how to slow down okay slow down the top on the side so the back of the form just you know staff just naturally go down to touch your body it won't hurt at all it just you know everything will be stopped you can continue for next movement all right now we're gonna do the you know other technique flower it's so up top your head flower and on the back of the flower so that have to continue so the take you know take some time to explain the hand movement I want to show you the movement first so you can see you know what it look like first you're gonna put this staff on the back and then hold the staff in the middle all right swing the top until it's straight on the top of your head and keep turning keep turning okay that's you know do I'm gonna do top and back now I want to jump to the regular staff to show you the detail how you're gonna do it change your hand okay as you see this is a one piece of staff when you do it you pretty much you know hold your thumb open your thumb and the finger grab on the side all right like this and then put the staff in the back all right fist to the right side so that way you can use your waist to help the staff to swing yeah get straight okay you turn to the left side first and then on the top you finish one circle finish one circle look the left hand will be used of back to just continue grab it continue turn the stuff staff never stop all you have to do is change your hand all right let's do the first part first one more time body twist to left side grab your staff hit the staff in the back all right turn left side of your body and then keep turning keep turning keep turning in the back grab the staff continue turning finish and then when you finish on the top you want to slightly slowly go down on your back so how we're going to do this your body have to go down to let the staff keep swing on your back so you don't want to make angles you want to make a straight line so that way you won't hurt yourself okay as straight as you can just try it. i know it's very difficult so keep turning go up one circle slow motion grab the staff keep turning go to left side and then on your back keep turning again and this position you have to grab your use your hands grab the staff and then put it up so now you're back to the hand, head and then grab again and then go down on the back grab on the side right when the second part pass grab again keep turning keep turning keep turning all right the key for this movement is your hand never stop the staff the staff have their own speed da 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 up and down up and down same speed all you have to do to care be careful when and where you're gonna grab the staff and then how you put your hand next to each other so the staff won't stop all right let's do reg regular speed first okay look at your body you want to go up and you want to go down just make sure you have enough space for the staff okay you have to let him he's the you know main role for this movement he you have to let him to swing himself in the back on top in the back on the top in the back and then finish okay all right so you can use the slow you know motion and grab the one piece of step patches first just be safe and then they, later on you can jump to three section again when you do the three section stuff I want you to speed up okay if you slow down they have no eyes they're gonna hurt you for sure <laughs> all, right. all right the next technique I want to tell you still you're gonna grab in the middle but this time you're gonna change to on the left side or the right side switch around um, I want you the one section like flower on both sides okay first we're gonna show you the real speed okay right side first block change and block and change and block and change and block okay 
This way you can block on both sides, you know, at the same time. You finish one, you go to another one, you go to another one, you go to another one. You can always control your, you know, step. You want to block this part of weapon, you finish one circle. And then you want to block this side, finish top, and then use another side to block again. All right, but in order to finish, you want to know the detail how gonna play. It's not only like you know one or two. You have to change your hand and then move your body, use your waist. All right, first we're gonna do the right side first. All right, you want the left hand against your waist as tight as you can, and then that way you can in order to control your staff better. Finish right side flower one. All right, when the finish one, okay, keep swing. Finish flower on top of head, and then put your right right hand go to your left side, and then as tight as you can finish left step flower. Okay, when you finish this block, you finish again, and then block again, and block and and, and block. Every time you make a circle, you want from back to forward. Okay, look back to forward, back to forward. Same as left side, you finish flower, go back to left side, back to forward. All right, one more time, back to forward. Yeah, just reverse one, two, or three times. Just keep going. One and two and one. As you know, we always block this one section with another section. You know the middle is always against either right side or left side, but the back is one actually you want control. You don't want just let them swing back and forth. You want actually against your back, this part, okay? Let me show you the, from this side, you can see clear. When I finish the right side, left side, right side, against your back, left side, against your back, right side. Finish against your back, against your back, against your back. While you're against your back, at the same time you finish the flower. So you both sections have something to do. So it won't be like stop one and keep moving another one. All right? That's with a flower block. Flower block. Flower block. All right. Now I'm going to do only block. Okay? So only block is a little bit easier than the another one because you have no transition as a flower. You only just use a Block and block on right side, left side, straight. So one, two, one, and two, and one. This one, actually, you only use your top of your staff to block. That's, you know, the bottom one, you just against your back. Left side, right side, left side, right side to control your staff better. All right, let's see one more time. You block only top, all right? Block one time. Go back to this side, block, 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 block. Faster. All right, I want you to see on the side, you can see how the, you know, another section works. Block, block. Again, whenever your hand going to put, you have to be tied from your waist. So this is your middle, okay, your center. You want to control your step by turning your waist. And as always, any movement is the same. You don't want to only use your arm because how much power in your arm? Not that much. But there's a lot of power in your waist and leg. You want to use all of them to, you know, finish your movement. So that way, your movement looks more powerful. You have more power to protect yourself. Okay. All right. So let's move on. We're going to do another basic, basic for three sections. All right, now we know how to use side, how to grab in the middle and both sides. I just want to tell you the last one, you can use the one section, just a swing and the whip. All right, this is more wild movement. You know, very powerful. That's because you're all, you know, your enemy very far from you. You can reach them. That's where you're gonna do. You know, use this move to, you know, to defend yourself. Um, this weapon's coming. You don't want to go there. You slap and then rape and use your arm straight up. One. Okay. Let's do one more time. Arm swing. Make a circle and swing. 
as far as you can. Again, this is a, you have a point. Every weapon, when you do the movement, there's a point, power point. You want to go straight over there, about 45 degree, straight up. And then from there, straight down. All right, let's do one more time. Swing back, and then whip forward. And also, there's another dangerous thing is when you touch the ground, how are you going to control the step? All right, the last part, if you don't, Look, they just come back and hit you, for sure. You have to touch the ground. As I said, touch the ground to help you to control your staff. All right? You whip, you use the last section of the chain over here, touch the ground, and then you stop there. You kind of like slow down naturally. See? That way, the last section stop, even though they keep moving back, it won't hurt you. All right? If it's not, the whole section will be come back to hurt you. That's why you have to touch the ground. Okay, we talk about left side. Whip. Now we talk about left side, opposite, same thing. You've this, from this side, you can see, you slowly swing the step back, and same technique, whip out. All right, let's back again, straight out. All right, let's go back again, swing, and then whip. Finish. See? The last one, why I do it, actually I touched the ground, the whole step almost hit me, but it didn't. Why? Because this part, last part of the section, the step very tight from the wrist, so I can, you know, control them. If it's not moving around, they're going to come back, for sure. You just have to be tight. Whenever you finish, tight from your wrist. You finish slap, tight from your wrist, just like any other weapons. Straight swords, brass swords, same thing. You that's how you control, you know, your weapon. This part of your body, you don't want them moving around without your control. You always want that to move in your control because you play with it. Okay, so we talked a lot of the section, three section basics. There's a still, you know, more but more difficulty. So I don't want to show you today because it's, you know, introduction though for the beginner. Um, I don't want you to get hurt. Um, that's just, I just want to put everything together so when you practice, you have the small form, you know, for you to always practice and then give a little bit of small perform. <laughs> Alright, we we'll learned a lot of basics about three section stuff. Uh, when you practice, sometimes, you know, you're hard to, like, from jump from one to another. So I make a small form just for you to, um, in order to practice well, smoothly, use all those techniques. Of course, when, we, when I do the form, there's a, some small transition you might not, you know, haven't seen yet, you know, in the, in the beginning of the video. But um, I will explain when, when we start doing it. Okay, well now we're gonna do half speed so you can see the whole form, how they look like. All right. Let's talk about beginning. For the first time, you just grab three steps together and stand up. 
press opening. Around your neck when you move, then push out. Focus your eye. Then pushing out your hand as a pose. And then grab the other side with sword and slap, push. All right, let's do one more time. So put it together. Opening. Forward. And push. Grab it. Slap. Open. And then next, lock again. Open up as both hands push out. And then next, one section block up, one section on the lower block out. Push as both hands. Okay, I want to put two things together. Beginning. All right, so next we're going to jump to our basics. First basic, one and two, right side and down. Up and down, and pass, and then block, cut. See, they just, you know, when we're talking about beginning, you just put everything together. Stances, steps, and technique for the step, three section step. Okay, after one, block, and two, block, up and down. Pass. One and two. We're gonna jump to a step on the floor and then block on the both sides. So change your step, you know, your hand to the middle of the step. Step on the floor. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, step back. One, two, three. Step forward. Two, three. Okay. That's how we're going to put this two movements together. First, when you finish pass, lock, both hands cut. Okay, all you have to do is throw out your right side of the step. Change hand position. Let's do one more time. Both hands, change. While you finish your change, starting next movement. All right, see, just keep going, swing. You can do like 10 times, 9 times, doesn't matter. Forward, backward, as long, as far as you can. All right, after the step on the floor and body turn and, you know, block both sides, you want to transfer to block again, right? One side block, we learned this technique before. So when you finish, just touch the ground. Look at my left hand side, I have to change my hand position. Change back, all right? So you don't want to let people know, you just kind of like secretly change back again. From the slow motion, one, two, three, change back. Right hands don't move, okay? Let's do one more time, slow motion. One, two, finish, come back. All right, don't move, back to your waist, start swing, flower on the side, okay? This one you can keep running, worse, you know, stand here, don't move, depends on you. But I would rec you know, recommend you just keep walking forward so you have more movement going on. So finish, step, 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 slow down. All right, grab the step and back your waist, start moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, on top and cut. All right, this one you can just finish both stands or any kind of stance, or even non-stop, continue to next movement. So we're gonna from here, do one more time. Change hand position, and then start swing on your left hand. Right, right, left, waist tight. Block, 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 sweep. And then swing your staff, come back, ready for next movement, because next we're gonna sweep, one, two, three, three sweep, sweeps. So you finish, cut, Swing your right side of the staff, come back softly, look the direction you're going to be, and then sweep one, and two, and three. See, whenever I sweep, I look at the target first, so I won't miss, all right? If you look at this way, you're gonna sweep there, you don't know what's going on, all right? You always look at where you're gonna sweep or where you're gonna hit, 
All right. Again, when you sweep, left hands have to be tight. Okay, just step forward, very smooth. Okay, you finish here, sweep. Swing your step back, ready for sweep. Sweep one, up, and two, up, and sweep. You finish there, swing back, and then up, flower, and sweep for the legs. All right, and this pose actually the knee goes down and look wherever you sweep. So you finish, sweep forward, Swing backward, look at staff on the top, and then sweep, cut, triangle. All right, so next movement we're gonna talk about the flower. Reverse flower and regular flower, and jump to the one side swing block on both sides. Okay, and step back and forward. All right, start from here, you pick it up. All you need to do is change your hand, switch. All right, again, you put it here, change your hand, and drop your left hand back to the center. All right, start flower, swing your right hand, step. Reverse. Back again. Flower, flower, step forward, step backward. See, both sides. And then now, only right side top. Do about five or six times, okay? That's how you're gonna transfer from a flower to the block both sides and to the one side block on the both sides. Okay, after that, we're gonna do the flower on the top, flower on the back, all right? And then three rips, and then we can end. All right, after the block and block again, one side block, one side block. You slow down this step, get ready, so by step out, your left leg become a half horse stance. All right, so same thing, body turn to left side. This way, you can turn left side, use your waist to help the step swing. All right. On top, back, top, back. One more time, and back, finish here. And step, swing the step back throughout. Ready for swing. Whip, first one, second, and step back, Course both ends. All right, now ending step up, swing your step. All right, catch, another side, become both ends, finish your post. Ending, sweep together. All right. So you pretty much know how to start from the beginning, use the transition, put all the bases together, become a form. Now you just practice over and over and over. Eventually when you speed up, it looks really nice, you can move on to the next level. Okay, let's take a look what real speed look like. You can go much faster, if you can go faster than that, go faster than that. If you can, it's okay, just regular practice. All right, okay, let's begin.
from basics you know, level to the high level, it just matter of the speed. The basics will be all the same. All you have to do is add more like jumps and you know, tricks and then you know, just swing faster and make the movement more traumatic, that's all. But um, you know, as you can tell, three sections are pretty dangerous weapons. Anytime you do weapons, please, safety first. You might want to just go very slow first, pick it up one step by step. And then when you feel like you can control the weapons better, and then speed up, you know, step by step, no rush. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for enjoying the program. Um, I'll see you in another program. Thank you.